Hi there. Today I want to share a bit of personal testimony. It's a year now since I had my first mini stroke. People think of a stroke as, as a, a stroke of good luck. I would say you're joking. That stroke led to a bone marrow cancer diagnosis. That could have made me fearful, but as someone who knows Jesus, I know he's looking after me and he fills me with his strength to overcome obstacles, even cancer. At the moment, I am strong enough to do tasks like cutting the grass, trimming the hedges, and Jesus has empowered me and strengthened me to push through in the difficult times. I have tried to be obedient in pushing through because obedience is better than sacrifice, even though it often feels like a sacrifice. In November, I was invited to Nobles with pneumonia, a bit peeved that I missed Sunday worship that weekend. When I came home, I still remained positive and again felt Jesus gave me strength to push through and still play an active role in the church. However, on Christmas Eve, I had a second stroke, which affected my left arm. But God is always good. I even had carol singing from outside accident and emergency and received a gift from Friends of Nobles. I was upset about missing all the Christmas festivities though, but God is good at all the time. The best was, on Christmas Day, the team of doctors had a discussion, and the head of the department came over. He said that although some of the team did not agree with him, he was making the decision to let his heart rule his head and let me home in time to have dinner with the family. Whoa! I think Jesus rules the doctor's heart. I have never felt down or struggled, but I am constantly filled with his joy and appreciating the beautiful early spring weather he has given us. The doctors keep adding to my list of things they find wrong with my body, and as a, I am transfusion dependent, I am a regular guest at Noble. God sees things differently. I am dependent on him. I am in a high risk category of for COVID-19, but I have no fear because I am saturated with perfect love. Jesus is with me every step of the way, and he wants that for all of us. Through the storm, he is Lord, Lord of all. Let him guide you through the difficult times. He does it for me, he'll do it for you. So keep washing your hands, loving your neighbor, and above all else, keep pushing through.